All right, guys, today I'm going to go ahead and rank all of the brand new Pokemon from Sword and Shield in Generation 8 based on how much I like them. Do I really, really like them? Do I not care so much or do I absolutely hate them? I thought this would be really cool because we probably have all the Generation 8 Pokemon we're going to get at this point, And I would love to rank all of the Pokemon from all the generations and then make a new top 10 favorite Pokemon list and a bottom 10 least favorite Pokemon list. I think that would be pretty cool to do at some point here on the channel. So let's get started with the brand new generation, Generation 8. I've played through Sword and Shield a lot on the channel in the form of challenge runs. Not a wedlock yet, but eventually. So let's start. This is how I'm going to go ahead and do it. I've got Perfection. Incredibly cool. I like them. I'm indifferent to them. I'm not a fan of them, and I despise them. I think that's a good set of six that we can break these Pokemon up into. And first up, it has Galarian Meowth. So when I saw this, it terrified me. Uh, I let's played Pokemon Sword and Shield blind when the games first came out on the channel here, and I reacted to them all live because I had never seen them before. So I got my raw feelings on all the Pokemon, and glaring me out scared me. I was like, what is this? This is terrifying. It, it's very freaky looking. Um, I do like him. I think he's unique. But like, did we need another Meowth? I wouldn't say I'm not a fan. I wouldn't say I'm like him. I'd say I'm indifferent to him. I think he's kind of cool. His evolution's better, I would say. Um, Galarian Ponyta. I feel like Galarian Ponyta is something we needed. I'm indifferent to it and Rapidash. But I feel like Ponyta is just a good Pokemon to give a regional variant to. I think it fits pretty well. Um, Slowpoke, on the other hand, did we really need him? Um, I'm kind of indifferent to him, to be fair. I'm not I'm not, not a fan of him. I, I do like uh, Galarian Slowbro. I think he's pretty cool, but I'm indifferent to Slowpoke. Farfetch'd, I like quite a bit. I'd say I like him more than Slowbro. It's good to see Farfetch'd get something, you know? A nice regional variant for Farfetch'd is really awesome. I think it's something we needed. Um, I... I think he's, I actually, I think he's pretty, I, I'd say he's incredibly cool, honestly. I'd, I'd slap him up in there. Um, We got Douglas Dimidome over here, owner of the, the Dimsdale Dimidome. Um, Galarian Weezing. I like him. I think he's cool. I like him more than Slowbro. Uh, Galarian Mr. Mime. I'm not really a fan of him, to be fair. Like, he's weird. Why'd we need him? We didn't. Um, Mr. Mime was cool enough. We didn't, we didn't need him. Um, I think... Galarian Articuno is incredibly cool. I think it's the best of the three. Uh, I like Zapdos, and I'm indifferent to Moltres. Uh, that's how I feel about those three. Um, Galarian Zapdos is really cool, but I just like it. Um, Galarian Articuno is almost perfection. It's perfect. I'm not a big Articuno fan to begin with, so incredibly cool is where he'll fall. Um, Galarian Slow King. I'm, I'm indifferent. I like Slowbro better, honestly. I always have. Uh, Slow King is just eh. But yeah, I, I feel indifferent there. Um, Galarian Corsola is really cool. Um, this is something I've... I just... I think he's really cool. I'd slap him in incredibly cool, personally. I think he's... The story behind it, it's a dead Corsola. It's perfect. Um, I love Zigzagoon. Landon was one of my favorite Pokemon at one point. Uh, I would put Galarian Zigzagoon into Lycum, and same with Lainoon. Um, They're both the same to me. I don't like Dar Darumaka. Um, see, I have, like, well, I, I guess it's called tripophobia. I don't like buttons or, like, spots like that. Like, when I make snowmen when I was a kid, I'd never put the, the, the buttons on them. That, it, it grosses me out, personally. Um, I despise Galarian Mar Darmanitan. I think it's a, a, a great idea. Galarian Darmanitan would have been awesome, but he's hideous. What's the big ball in his head? It's, it's just dumb looking. And same with his form. It's, it just grosses me out. I'm not a fan. Um, Galarian Yamask is really cool. Uh, I'd say I like him. Um, his evolution method might bump him up a little bit for me. I think he's pretty sweet. Larian Stunfisk, I like him. I love Stunfisk. It's a weird pick, but I'm so glad they gave some love to Stunfisk. Everybody knows on this channel how much I love Stunfisk. People make fun of him. They made him a bear trap. He's pretty sweet. So, Grookey's the best of the three starters. I, re I like him. I'm not a big fan of the starters this generation as like, oh, they're my new favorite Pokemon. I normally never am with starters. Um... But I do think this is a really solid lineup of starter Pokemon. Uh, I think Grookey's the best. Um, I would put Scorbunny. Um, uh, I'm, I I didn't like Scorbunny at first, but I'm indifferent to it. And I like Sobble too, but not as much as Grookey. That's how I'd put those. 
Um, for their evolutions, Drizzile, I don't really like. I'm not a fan. Uh, I'm not a fan of Thwacky either. Middle evolutions are w just really weird. But I do like Raboot quite a bit. I think Raboot is really cool. And I, I put him into like. Uh, I like him better than Sobble, I would say. Uh, and then their final evolutions. I I'll do Gigantamax forms last, I think. Um, Cinderace. I wasn't a fan, but I do kind of like him. I, I put him into it um, up here. I don't like him as much as Sobble, but I, I like him. I think he's all right. Um, Rillaboom's really cool. I like Rillaboom. I'm not as much as Grookey, but Rillaboom's grown on me over time. Inteleon. I'm not a fan, personally. Like, I like him better than all this stuff, but he just kind of, eh. I don't know. He's too skinny. Like, there's not a lot to him. He's just like a stick, which I get. He's a salamander, but I'm not a fan of the design, all right? Um, I don't like Greedent. Not a fan of Greedent, um, but I do like Squavit. I think Squavit's really cute. I think he's a really good, like, and this is just, like, looks-wise and, like, how I feel about the Pokemon. Not how I feel like they do. This is just, like, a personal preference thing. Uh, Design-wise, not a fan of Greedent. I do like Squavit, though. I'd put him into the, like, tier. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting them in order. There's too many. that take all day, but I, I like him. That's that's how I feel about him. I think Rookity's cool. Um, I'm indifferent to Corvusquire, and I like Corviknight. I feel good about that line, and in general, they're kind of cool. Um, nothing special, but I'm a fan, I'd say. Um, Blip Bug. I'm indifferent. I don't really care. I think Orbeetle's all right. Dottler's all right as well. I despise Nickit. I don't like Nickit at all. And that's funny because I'm a big Sly Cooper fan. My phone has a Sly Cooper case. I just love Sly Cooper. And this is basically Sly Cooper. He's a thieving raccoon. But... I don't like how they did it. I hate the color of it. I hate the tail being like a little sweeper. I'm just not a fan of this Pokemon. I don't like its name either. It just doesn't sound right. I'm not, I just don't like Nickit and Thievil at all. They're, they might be some of my least favorite Pokemon this generation. Uh, I'm indifferent to Gossifleur. I don't really care about it at all. If it wasn't here, I wouldn't go, oh, I miss Gossifleur, you know? Same with Elder Goss. They're just kind of weird. I, I like them for what they are, but so I'm indifferent, right? I don't hate them. Uh, I'm not a fan of Wooloo. I don't like the sheep Pokemon. On and I don't know if I end up Wool either. Like Wooloo's all right, right? Like, but it's just a sheep. <laughs> it's just a circular sheep. I don't know. All right, I love Choodle. Choodle's incredibly cool. When I saw him, I was so happy. I screamed like a little girl, like, like really screamed. I was just so excited. But then I saw Dreadnought. It was his evolution. And I was just like, I don't like him. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not a fan of Dreadnought. He's just stupid. Like, <laughs> that's so dumb. Look at him. He, I can't say I'm not a fan. I despise Dreadnought, okay? Um, no, you know what? I'm not a fan of Dreadnought. There. Everybody can stop screaming. <laughs> uh, I'm indifferent to Yamper. Bolt on, I'm indifferent to as well. I just don't care. Like, they're all right. I love Roly Coley. Roly Coley's really cool. He's just like Choodle. I went, oh my god, I love him. But then I saw Carcoal and Colossal, and I went, oh yuck, why'd they do that? All right, I'll be the first to tell you. Carcoal is kind of cool, okay? I can put him into I'm not a fan. Like, if they're going to go that direction, that's fine. But his evolution, if they're going to have a unicycle coal and then a car coal, why is Colossal just Golem? That makes no sense. They could have made him a train, like Tonka the Tank Engine, and it would have been the coolest thing ever. But no, Golem. You know, like, and nobody wanted that. That was, that got lazy. Like, Colossal's stupid. Um, and it brings Carcoal down, but it doesn't bring Rolly Coley down. I like Rolly Coley. Applin's incredibly cool. It's an apple with a worm inside of it. It's genius. I love him. Um, Appleton's awesome. Flapple, I dislike it. It's okay. I'm kind of indifferent to Flapple, honestly. I'm not a fan of it over Appleton, but I'm indifferent. I don't not like it, right? Silicobra's cool. I like Silicobra. Sandaconda, I'm indifferent to. Cramorant, I like quite a bit. I wouldn't say he's incredibly cool, but I think he's, I think he fits the game. I think he's pretty sweet. Um, I'm indifferent to Aracuda and Barascuda. They're cool. Uh, they're all right, right? Nothing special to me. Uh, Toxel. I like him. I think Toxel is an A-plus lad. Um, same with, same with his evolutions. I wasn't a fan of the evolutions. 
I actually would have put them I'm not a, in, in I'm not a fan when the games came out, but because I used one, it grew on me. I'll tell you that. But design-wise, I'm not a fan of them. So I just put them down there for that, the sake of this. But I like Toxel. Um, Sislipede, I think he's perfection. It's like I love Sislipede. I think he is everything I ever wanted in a Pokemon. He's really cool. But I don't like Scorch. I'm not a fan of Scorch. I think he's ugly. I don't like him. There's something about him. I'm not a fan of Scorch, And that does suck because I'll probably never really want to use a Sizzlipede because it's not Scorch, right? I don't want to use Scorch. Clobopus, perfection. I love him. He's perfect. Um, but I don't care for, um, cl- like, Graplocked a lot. If he ha- if he was water and fighting, he I- I'd put him in I like him, but I'm indifferent. Uh, you know, I'm not a fan. Just being up your fighting type sucks. Uh, Sinistee, this is actually, I'm not going to use the different form one, um, but the nor- yeah, I'm not going to use the different form ones, just put them at the bottom, and just clog it up, but Sinistee, he's perfection, I like Pulte, guys, uh, who do I like more, Sizzlepeed, Clobopus is at the bottom here, I like Sinistee, I like Sizzlepeed more, I feel good with that, Hatena, I'm indifferent, I'm indifferent to Hatrum, I'm indifferent, different to that's Hatterene. Um, I love Impidim. I think he's incredibly cool. I would like to put him at perfection, but I'm not a fan of the evolutions as much. I'm indifferent to Morgrim. Um, and I, I, I like Grimmsnarl. He's okay. Because I used him. Uh, I have a little bias there, but... Um, Impidim's definitely at the top of incredibly cool for me. Uh, Obstagoon, I like him. I think he's really awesome. It's a great addition. Um, same with Perserker. Perserker's cool. Um, I'm not indifferent. I don't dislike him. I'd say I like him a little bit. Not a lot, but I think he's all right, right? I'd like to use one. Um, Cursula, I think he's incredibly cool. Like, he goes up there with Curse, uh, uh, Galarian Cursula. Just awesome Pokemon. Cool idea. Uh, same thing with Surfetched. Surfetched is pretty sweet. Uh, Mr. Rhyme Time. I like him. He's okay. Nothing special. Uh, I don't like Galarian Mr. Mime. But I like him. He's okay. It's also my first shiny I got in Sword and Shield. And I got that live, too. He was in a raid battle. It was pretty sweet. Um, it's on the channel somewhere, if you're interested. In the Let's Play. Um, I don't want to say his name, because I feel like I'll accidentally say something I'm not supposed to. Um, I don't like his name. It's the same thing with Nickit. Like, I genuinely... Like, my dyslexia, I butcher his name so bad, and it's not in a good way. So, I... But he's a cool design, okay? He's a really cool design. Um, I put him in, it's hard for me. I can't judge him on his name. I'll put him in, I like him, right? It's not my, it's not his fault that I have dyslexia. Um, uh, M- Milsery, right? Milsery and then Alchemy. So, uh, I'm indifferent to Milsery. I hated Alchemy when it first was released. I was like, this is a, such a stupid Pokemon. It's just a cake, but I adore it. It's one of my favorites this gen. I'd put him in perfection. I absolutely adore him. I'd put him above these three. I I think Alchemy's awesome. Um, Phalanx is really cool. I'd put him in incredibly cool. I think Phalanx is pretty sweet. Same with um, Pincurchin. Awesome Pokemon. Incredibly cool. Um, Snom, I'm indifferent to Snom. I, I, you know, I like Snom, okay? I'm not a fan of Frostmoth. It's just kind of lame. Um, Eskew. Yeah, I was going to save the best for last. Like, everybody that knows me knows. This is probably... I could make an argument that this is my favorite Pokemon of all time. Stonejourner is... Like, if I do this tier list type thing for every generation, Stonejourner will be in my top 10 favorite Pokemon. He is one of the most precious perfection things I've ever seen in my entire life. I saw him. He was the very last Gen 8 Pokemon I saw because I played Shield. Um... He's the best. I love him. I want a life-size Stonejourner in my house. I love everything about Stonejourner so much. He makes me so happy. It's not even funny. Uh, and I like Eskew. Eskew's fine. Um, Indeedy, also perfection. It's my second favorite. I'm not the male Indeedy too much. I'll rank him. He's incredibly cool. But female Indeedy, these are three. These are my holy trinity when it comes to Sword and Shield Pokemon. Adore them. Um, I really like more Pico as well. Um, Kufan's okay. I'm indifferent to Kufan. I don't like Kaparaja. It's just kind of hideous. Um, 
on the fossils. So I love Dracovish because I used one, not because he's a meme. I just gen like I liked him before he was cool. Um, and I have proof too. So I think he's incredibly cool. Actually, I'd put him in perfection. No, 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 he's not perfection. Uh, I like Arctivish more. Um, and then these two I'm indifferent to. Arctazolt and Drekazolt. Nah, it's fine. Uh, I like uh, Duraludon. Um, I like Dreepy a lot too. I think Dreepy's incredibly cool. Draclac, I like. Dragapult, I like. He's all right. Um, I'm never a fan of legendaries. I'm just not. Like, I'm not a legendary guy. Like, a lot of people love Pokemon because they go catch legendary Pokemon. I'm just not a fan, really. Um, this is not my thing. Um, Kubfu, I'm indifferent to Kubfu. I like him, but his evolution, uh, Urshifu, I'm indifferent to. Uh, I really like Zarude. Uh, I think Zarude's incredibly cool for a uh, mythical. Normally not a fan of mythical Pokemon or distribution Pokemon, whatever. Just dislike them most of the time. Um, but Zarude having a relation to Celebi, I, Celebi's my favorite, so... Uh, I think Zarude's incredibly cool. Um, Reggie Drago, I really like. Um, Reggie Lecky, I like. They're cool. Um, the the new horses, Glastrier and Spectrier. Um, I'm indifferent to them. I don't dislike them. I could see myself liking Glastrier a little more. But, again, Legendary is not really my thing. Um, same with Calyrex. I'm indifferent to it. And then we have the G-Max forms, which I will rank as well. I'm not going to rank anything... I'm not going to rank Zerud's extra form. It's not really a big difference. And same thing with Calyrex's forms and Synesthes forms. And Zashian and Zamazenta's forms. It's the same thing to me. Uh, let's start with Rillaboom. I think it's over-designed. <laughs> it's kind of weird. I'm not a fan of him. Um, same thing with Cinderace. I do like Inteleons, though. I like Inteleons a lot. Uh, I think it's incredibly cool. It's like a sniper tower. I like it. Corviknight. I mean, different. There's really nothing to it. Orbeetle's got a really cool idea going, the UFO. I think that's cool. I'm um, not a fan of Dreadnought. Not a fan of its G-Max. Same thing with Colossal. Um, oh, I despise Colossals. I'm not a fan of Dreadnoughts. Um, Flapple. I don't... I mean, I despise it because they're the same for Flapple and Appleton. They couldn't have given you a different one. Like, it's a it's a cool idea, but it's the same thing for two different Pokemon. Not, I don't like that. I despise that, personally. Um, not a fan of Sandicondas. Uh, Toxtricity is kind of cool. I like Santa Scorches, how it's like a heater, like the radiator. I think that's kind of neat. Nothing really too Hatterenes for me. Um, Grimmsnarl just is big. Not a fan of that one. I'm not a fan of G-Maxes and Legendary and all that stuff. I like the base Pokemon most of the time. Um, Big Cake, not a fan personally. Um, then we've got the Urshifus, which... I'm indifferent, I guess. They, they're cool, I suppose. Um, I despise Eternum Max Eternatus. Like, I'm not a legendary guy. I just don't really care. Um, Duraludons I like. I think it's kind of cool, the big skyscraper. And I absolutely despise Copperajas. Um, I feel like this is a really good ranking for Gen 8 for me. Um, I wouldn't put Arctivish in perfection anymore. Anything from Incredibly Cool that I would want to bump up? Maybe Choodle. Uh... Maybe more Pico. I can see this. I like this a lot. This tier list definitely feels like me. Um, Stone Journer is one of the best Pokemon of all time. Um, <laughs> I love him a lot. Uh, I like Aditi too. Uh, maybe I would put Sizzlipede above Alchemy. It depends on the day. But I like all of these Pokemon a lot. Um, definitely my top eight, I would say, for the Galar region. And with that being said... Let me know what yours is down below. I'll link the tier list down below so you guys can do this as well. Let me know what you guys agree on, disagree on, all of that stuff. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like as well down below. Tell me what you thought in the comments, all that stuff. And if you haven't done so already and want to see more videos like this, different weblock videos that I make, all that type of stuff, go ahead and subscribe as well if you're interested. So with that being said, I'll see you guys next time, hopefully, for Generation 7 at some point. So until then, thank you so much for watching.